Hi there and welcome to the video tutorial for the High Waist Collective Bikini. This pattern is available on our website and in the links below. Let's get started. The supplies you'll need to make the High Waist Collective Bikini pattern are swimwear fabric, thread, swimwear lining, a wider elastic 20 millimeters or three quarters of an inch wide and a narrow elastic six millimeters or one quarter of an inch wide. A ballpoint or stretch needle, bra cups, pins, a safety pin, a rotary cutter or scissors. We'll begin by making the straps for the top section. Take the strap sections and cut the elastics to the lengths provided in the sewing instructions chart. Pin and stitch the straps together at the long edges. I've stitched the straps at the long edges. Now turn the strap right sides out and thread the elastic through the strap. Secure the elastic inside by stitching across the straps at both ends. This style includes bust pleats which are marked on the pattern as circle marks. I've cut small snips to mark the bust pleat marks. Pin the bust pleats marks together. Stitch in 25mm or 1 inch in from the side edges to create the bust pleats. Flip the pleat fold upwards on the wrong side and stitch along the edge to secure it. Pin and stitch the straps to the front and back sections. After this step, stitch the front and back sections together at the side seams. The front lining section includes two layers, the front lining and the pocket lining. I've stitched the bust pleats on both linings just as we did for the outer section. Take the pocket lining and hem the side edges under the wrong side. I've now stitched the pocket lining onto the front lining at the centre front seam. Both linings are facing right sides up. Peel the pocket lining edges away from the side edges and pin and stitch the back lining section to the front lining at the side seams. The lining is now stitched together at the side seams. Now turn the lining right sides out. Pin and stitch the pocket lining to the front lining along the top and lower edges. You'll now have the opening at the side edges for the bra cups to be inserted.
Right sides together, pin and stitch the lining to the outer sections at the top edges. Elastic is sewn to the centre back and armhole edges. There is no elastic sewn to the front neckline. Cut the elastic to the lengths provided in the sewing instructions. Mark the halfway points of the elastic and armhole and back edges. Pin and stitch the elastics on the seam allowance of the armholes and the back edges. Open out the top section, understitch the lining to the seam allowance. This step is an option if you do not feel confident, you can definitely skip this step. Thank you. 
You can see here the lining is shorter than the outer section. This is to assist in pulling the seams under to the wrong side at the top edge. Pin and stitch the lining and the outer section together at the lower edges. Stitch the under bust band together at the short ends. Fold the band in half lengthways and stitch the edges together. Leave a gap across the seam line. Divide the band and lower edge of the top section into quarter points. Pin and stitch the underbust band casing to the lower edge of the top section. Leave a gap across the center back mark. Cut the wide elastic to the length provided in the sewing instructions. Use a safety pin to thread the elastic through the casing. Check you've not twisted the elastic, this is really important. Overlap and pin the elastic ends together. Stitch the end of the elastic together and slide the remaining elastic inside the casing. Stitch the open layers closed. Roll the foam cup up like this before you slide it inside the lining. Open out the cup inside the pocket lining. Swivel it around into the correct position.
there you have it, you should have a finished high waist collective bikini top. We will also be releasing a video on the bottoms that you will be able to find on our YouTube channel. If you did like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and leave a comment. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.